One of the goals of the James Webb Space Telescope project is to find Earth-like planets that could support life. Habitability is a crucial factor that's not easy to determine, and finding another planet like Earth that's similar to ours might be more challenging. Around 40 light years away lies a star system that's known as TRAPPIST-1. Five years ago, NASA announced that it and other partners had discovered multiple Earth-sized planets around this star. Astronomers have been eager to learn more about these distant worlds, which could be similar to our own planet. Proxima Centauri b is a tidally locked planet, similar to the TRAPPIST systems. This means that the one side of the planet always appears to be facing the star, while the other side always faces out into space. This phenomenon is not unique to exoplanets, though we don't have anything similar in our solar system like that. People used to think that Mercury was tidally locked, though it turned out to be quite different. When a planet is tidally locked, its temperature can affect its habitability. This would affect the rise of life on that planet negatively. Fortunately, the winds that circulate the planet could additionally help keep it cool. Sadly, nobody really knows the exact force and speed of wind on Proxima b, so it is not really wise to come up with theories that later would be disproved. Proxima b orbits a red dwarf, meaning it can be way closer to the star without really having major problems. However, the radiation and UV rays from Proxima Centauri could lead to bad damage to its magnetic field and atmosphere. More than likely you have seen or heard some people claim that there have been detected artificial lights on Proxima b. Sadly, I have to disappoint you, nothing like that was ever discovered. What was detected was simply the radio waves coming from the red dwarf star. We should not put our hopes down, but maybe Proxima b might still not be the right planet for us, at least at the moment. If you enjoy watching videos as these, then make sure to subscribe and click that thumbs up, I would really appreciate it.